Happy Sonics Tuesday, everyone. Uh, I started working on this this morning and did a lot of reading the plans to verify what I'm working on. I got the front aligned pretty well on the uh, right side where it's supposed to be aligned. And then I started looking back here. So I wanted to make sure that the spacing between these uh, outer skins and inner skins were exactly where they're supposed to be. And I realized I had missed um, a small piece if you see these rivets right here, I just want to put these in to a piece in this web. It's a little L-shaped bracket underneath. Uh, and that actually will uh, rivet to this back uh, rib here. And once I got that piece in and rested it here, uh, then all the sides were the exact proper um, distance between the, the metal coming in down here and the side and the laundron in the, uh, the middle. So the next thing I do when I come back and work on it is I'm going to hopefully uh, start picking off these uh, portions and, and tightening up the skin to here. Uh, I think what I want to do next though, before I do that, and you can see how, how nicely that flushness is right there, is, um, oh, actually I'll show you that piece. Not sure how well it's coming out, but you can see um, those uh, Clecos are going into that piece in that rib area. It's all held in the exact middle proper spot. And I need to next put one or two Clecos into this part where the rib attaches to this uh, cross member on each side for each rib stanchion and then when they're in properly, then I can go ahead and um, start cinching this, these metal pieces down. With this web in the right spot, I now started to find the centers of different places along the way with holes and start picking them off. And I'm going to basically find the longest area and cut it in half and keep going until I get all these drilled to the 40 size and then keep measuring as I go. So I have quite a few of the Clecos in so far. I just finished this section. You can see that it's um, quite flat and it looks really, really nice. Um, the sections that still have two or so holes not done have just a touch of a bulge, but when you push in, put the Clecos in and pull it taut, it disappears and makes a really nice straight line. So I'm gonna keep working on this. All right, I have officially entered the pin cushion stage. Now, every one of these drilled to the 40 size. These are actually where two bolts are going to go through, but I went and drilled them. So I can put some Clecos in there just to hold it nice and taut. I still actually have to drill this ribbon, but it was uh, very, very uh, snug in place, so that's perfect. And those are all drilled in. Uh, the place inside where the rib meets the uh, cross members, I'll probably drill those next. I'll double check the plans first. And then I will keep working on putting in these ribs. Obviously this piece right near here needs to be taken off and bent back at the proper angle. I'm just going to make sure it fits snugly first and then I'll go ahead and pop it off and do that. I left um, this clip in right here. It has some Clecos from the opposite side holding in, uh, this cross member in. That's why this isn't pushed all the way against it. But this one is all the way against and it fits very well. I need to pop the side off and bend this piece of aluminum back right here. And then um, you can see I've been just putting some little simple one Clecos in um, just to hold those ribs where they should be so I can uh, keep making this go further and further. Well, great. Uh, I think that's going to call that a day. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep going from here.